Hey guys, so I'm going to show you a technique that I have been lucky to be taught through an amazing healer, amazing friend and teacher of mine, and that is the wonderful Tyler Tallman. And this is what he uses to help um, one of the pathways to elimination, which is through the skin, and it's called Gua Sha. And all you need, uh, don't be too excited though, is vodka, some triple distilled vodka, because it's a better purity some bicarbonate soda, baking soda, make sure it's aluminium free. And all you're going to do is put that into an airtight jar as much as you can. So that took about 50% of that up. And then we're just going to add the vodka until it covers all the powder. Then with another maybe like kind of centimetre on top. Mm. And you can see straight away it starts to to bubble and form, which is exactly what we want. And what you're going to do is you're going to get in the shower. You're not going to put any products on. You're going to get in and just rinse off. Hopefully, you've got a good quality kind of shower head filter and things like that as well. So you're not getting any um, toxins or any heavy metals from the actual water supply itself. Once, if you've not, don't worry about it, it's something we can discuss in a, in a later video, but you want to just rinse the body off um, and just kind of, not even pat down, just kind of drip dry a little bit. Then with this here, because you've got it in the airtight container, so jars, if anyone makes any of their own kind of fermented foods, like sauerkraut, we had beet kvass in this not so long ago, uh, kimchi, anything like that, we can get these from Ikea, duck cheap, you can actually hear that's really starting to bubble now, it's cool, I love the whole fermentation process. Um, you will have that in the, the bathroom, somewhere near to hand where you can take, and you want to use like an exfoliating glove, or even an exfoliating brush is what I use, and you want to dip that in, put it on, and cover the whole body, getting that right into it. Um, usual whatever whatever your little habitual practice is when you go in the shower left arm right arm body bum balls boobs whatever it is um get through your whole thing but get through the whole body face included as well now remember the skin's the largest organ so it makes sense that we really look after our skin care and this is a really cheap and cheerful way of doing it and this is actually some of the stuff that they the ancients the ancient um, Mayans, Egyptians, Greeks and things like that, they all used this as part of their, their health protocols because it was used to treat wounds and cuts and, and grazes and things like that and then somebody decided to put it in their mouth and lo and behold, that is what's um, probably <laughs> the foundation of the Western world in terms of certain social um, interaction and things but that is what it was designed for originally, it wasn't to ingest down the hatch it was to put on the skin. So I know it's a bit of an eyebrow, we see oh, alcohol on the skin, but we've actually, like most things, we're, we're just returning back to source. We're just doing a bit of a 180 and going back. So you want to be doing that. Once you've done that, rinse it all off. Take about three, four minutes to do it properly. Really get in there. Rinse it all off and then put on whatever your natural skincare products and things like that. Make sure, guys, if you're, if you're not already doing that, really look into it. Something that's no chemicals, no petrochemicals, no what, no parabens, none of the nasty stuff there. We need to be really mindful of what we're putting on the skin. And then try and just repeat that as often as you like. If you're not being too vigilant with your skincare, I would recommend doing this. Uh, try and make it a, a little bit of a habit. Try and get a month or so in there. If you're following a strict protocol, like a cleanse or a detox or a fasting protocol, you definitely want to begin that in there and, and really help the the pores open up and the skin to breathe again so that helps that pathway of elimination. And if not, and you just want to do it for maintenance or aesthetic reasons, whatever it may be, there is nothing that is, is not going to benefit you with. But in terms of if we're feeling a little bit out of sorts or we know we've got some issues going on and we need to detox and cleanse and get rid of some of the nasties out, this is a real cool way of doing it. One of my goals this year was to look like that, you know those people that just look healthy, they've got that real elasticated, really supple, beautiful, glowing skin. That's what I was looking for, skin, hair and eyes. Um, sounding like a bit of a woman here, but that is my goals for this year. And this is 
is something that I've just really started to do. So I'll keep you guys posted with my process and my progress. And for you guys, I would love to hear how you got on as well. Give me your feedback. Any questions, of course, hit me up. Thank you. Over and out.